Gentlemen, if you're over 60 and you've reached climax recently, but noticed something deeply unsettling, where the pleasure was there, but the semen wasn't, you need to pay attention to this moment. This change is not random. It is not the natural ending of your masculine life. And it is not something you should quietly endure. Instead, it is a signal. A clear, measurable signal from your body that something in the system has shifted. I'm Dr. Olivia Carter, a board-certified urologist, and I want to speak to you directly and clearly. For more than 15 years, I've worked with men in their 50s, 60s, 70s, even 80s. Many of them come to me with the same private concern, Dr. The Orgasm feels normal, but nothing is coming out. What's happening to me? It is a moment of confusion, fear, and often embarrassment. Some men think they did something wrong. Others think it means the end of their sexual function. But I'm here to tell you that is not what this change means. The most important fact you need to understand first is this orgasm and ejaculation are two different systems. One is neurological, one is mechanical. The pleasure you feel is created by nerve pathways that go from your pelvis to your spinal cord and into the brain. That system is separate from the physical release of semen, which depends on muscles, ducts, valves and glands working together in perfect timing. When the pleasure remains, but the fluid disappears, your nerves are functioning normally. What has changed is the mechanical pathway responsible for releasing the fluid. This distinction is crucial because it tells us exactly where to look. And for men over 60, the potential causes are not vague or complicated. In fact, they fall into three primary categories that we can evaluate clearly and logically. The first is a weakened valve at the base of the bladder, the valve responsible for closing during climax, so semen moves forward. If it does not close, semen flows backward into the bladder. The second is a partial or complete blockage in the ducts that normally carry the fluid out. And the third is reduced production of semen due to low testosterone affecting the glands involved. Every one of these causes has a very specific pattern, your job is simply to recognise the pattern your body is showing you. My job is to guide you through it. Before we move into the details, I want to emphasise something vital. Experiencing an orgasm without fluid does not mean you've lost your ability to enjoy intimacy. It does not mean erections will stop. It does not mean desire is gone. What it means is that one part of the physical system has changed and understanding that change early is what prevents bigger issues. Later, especially concerning your prostate, your circulation, and your hormone health. In the next part, I'm going to break down the major causes clearly, so you can understand exactly what's happening inside your body. No guessing, no assumptions, just science you can use. Now that you understand the difference between the pleasure response and the physical release, Let's go directly into what actually causes the semen to disappear while the orgasm sensation stays the same. There are three primary mechanisms in men over 60 each with its own very distinct pattern. The first and most common cause is retrograde ejaculation. This occurs when the small valve between the bladder and the urethra fails to close tightly during climax. Under normal conditions, this valve shuts completely, forcing semen to move forward and out. But with age or after years of high blood pressure medication, prostate medication, diabetes, or even past prostate surgery, the valve weakens. When it does, the semen takes the easier path backward into the bladder instead of going outward. The man still feels the full orgasm because the nerves are functioning perfectly. The only thing that changes is the direction of the fluid. The second major cause involves obstruction of the ducts that carry semen from the seminal vesicles toward the urethra. These ducts are small, and over time they can narrow or become blocked due to inflammation scar tissue from past infections or small calcifications similar to tiny stones. 
When this happens, the fluid simply has no pathway to exit. This type of obstruction tends to appear gradually. Many men recall that their semen volume slowly declined years before it stopped completely. Some also describe a feeling of pressure or discomfort during climax because the fluid is trying to move through a restricted pathway. The third common cause is low testosterone. After 60, testosterone levels naturally decline, but for some men the drop is significant enough to affect the glands that produce and contribute to semen volume. These glands become less active and the amount of fluid decreases. The orgasm signal still fires normally, but the physical volume is far lower than before or disappears entirely. When low testosterone is involved, it rarely happens in isolation. Men often report reduced libido, lower energy, weaker erections, or mood changes alongside the decreased fluid. There is also a fourth less common cause that needs to be acknowledged. Certain neurological conditions can disrupt the coordination between the nerves and the muscles involved in ejaculation. Long-term diabetes, spinal issues, or nerve damage can interrupt the signals responsible for pushing the fluid outward. Again, the orgasm may still feel normal because the pleasure pathway is different, but the release mechanism is weakened. These are the real medically verified explanations. They cover nearly all cases seen in men over 60. Each one follows a clear pattern. And once you recognize the pattern your body matches, you can understand what's really happening instead of living with confusion, fear, or assumptions. In the next section, I will help you identify your specific pattern in the simplest way possible, using the same approach I use with every patient during their first consultation. At this point, you already know the four real mechanisms behind an orgasm that feels normal but produces no semen. Now I want to give you a simple, practical way to identify which one applies to you. This is the same diagnostic logic I use in my clinic during a first conversation with any patient experiencing this issue. Start with the most immediate and obvious clue what happens when you urinate right after climax. If the urine appears cloudy, thicker or milky, that is a clear indicator that semen has travelled backward into the bladder instead of outward. This points strongly toward retrograde ejaculation caused by a weakened valve. It is the most common pattern in men over 60, especially those taking medications for prostate symptoms, diabetes or high blood pressure. Next, examine the history of your semen volume. If the change was gradual, if your semen became thicker, lower in volume or slower to appear over the past months or years before eventually disappearing then obstruction of the ducts is the most likely cause. This pattern is gradual progressive and often accompanied by mild pelvic pressure during climax. If the change in semen volume came along with changes in your energy libido mood or erection firmness, then low testosterone becomes the primary suspect. When hormones drop, the glands responsible for fluid production become less active. This is rarely a sudden change. It is usually a steady, noticeable decline that matches the drop in hormone function. If your dry ejaculation appeared suddenly, not gradually, and you have a history of long-standing diabetes, diabetic, neuropathy, spinal problems, numbness, tingling or nerve discomfort, then a neurological component is likely. In this case, the signal and coordination between the nerves and muscles involved in ejaculation becomes disrupted even while the pleasure pathway remains intact. By evaluating these patterns, most men can identify their likely cause with surprising accuracy. You do not need complicated tests to understand the basic mechanism. You only need to observe the timing, the history and the accompanying changes in your body. In the next section, I will walk you through the practical solutions specific to each cause. These are steps you can start today and they form the treatment framework I use for men across the US, UK, Canada and Australia. Now that you have a clearer idea of which mechanism is affecting you, let's move directly into what you can do about it.
Every cause has its own pathway for improvement, and most men see noticeable changes when they apply the right steps consistently. Start with retrograde ejaculation, the weakened valve issue. The goal here is to help the valve close more effectively during climax. The simplest and most reliable way is to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles. These are the same muscles you use to stop urination midstream. Tighten them for about 3 seconds, then release. Repeat this 10 to 15 times a day. Over time, this improves the coordination and strength of the valve. It is also important to review your medications with your doctor. Several common drugs used for prostate enlargement, high blood pressure or diabetes can relax the valve, making retrograde flow more likely. A small adjustment or alternative medication can make a significant difference. For duct obstruction, the primary goals are reducing inflammation and improving the movement of fluid through the ducts. Begin by increasing hydration, which helps thin the seminal fluid and reduce stagnation. Applying a warm compress to the perineal area for 10 minutes a day can relax surrounding tissue and ease any constriction. Incorporating anti-inflammatory foods such as berries, leafy greens, olive oil and omega-3 rich fish supports gland health. If obstruction is more significant, a urologist can confirm it with simple imaging and resolve it with a minimally invasive procedure, often restoring normal forward flow. If low testosterone is part of the picture, the solution focuses on restoring hormone function and stimulating the glands that produce seminal fluid. Natural steps, such as improving sleep quality, reducing alcohol intake, and performing light strength training three times a week help raise testosterone levels. These changes support both semen production and overall vitality. If blood tests confirm a clinically low-level medically supervised testosterone therapy can improve libido erection quality energy levels and restore more normal semen volume. For nerve-related causes, the aim is to improve nerve signaling and protect existing nerve health. Good glucose control is essential for men with diabetes, as high blood sugar damages nerves over time. Even simple habits make a difference, like walking for 10 minutes after meals to enhance circulation and nerve function. Stretching and improving lower back mobility also support the pathways involved in coordinating ejaculation. Each of these approaches targets the specific mechanism involved, rather than treating the symptom alone. That is why it is so important to correctly identify the pattern. When you apply the right solution to the right cause, the improvement is far more predictable. Many men regain forward ejaculation, increase fluid volume, or restore comfort simply by addressing the underlying issue instead of guessing. In the final part, I will summarize everything into a clear checklist that helps you stay on track and understand exactly when to seek further evaluation. At this point you understand what's happening inside your body and why an orgasm without semen is not a random event. It is a mechanical or hormonal shift with identifiable causes and practical solutions. What matters now is knowing how to move forward with clarity. If the semen is flowing backward into the bladder because the valve is not closing firmly, focus on strengthening the pelvic floor and reviewing any medications that may be affecting the valve. This alone improves the situation for many men. If the ducts are blocked or narrowed, support the area by reducing inflammation, staying well hydrated and using warmth to relax tissue. In cases where the obstruction is more significant, medical evaluation can restore normal flow quickly and effectively. If low testosterone is reducing the activity of the glands work on rebuilding hormone balance, Sleep strength training and lifestyle changes all play a role. And when medically appropriate supervised testosterone therapy can restore energy libido and fluid production. If nerve coordination is the issue improving blood sugar control circulation and lower back mobility strengthens the pathways needed for proper release. Here is the practical summary every man over 60 should follow. Recognize the pattern your body shows you instead of guessing. 
address the specific mechanism involved, not just the symptom. Understand that most causes are manageable and often reversible. Protect your prostate health, your circulation and your hormones proactively. And most important, do not ignore sudden or unexplained changes in ejaculation. Early attention always leads to better outcomes. Experiencing orgasm without fluid does not mean you are losing your vitality or masculinity. It means your body is signaling a shift and now you have the knowledge to respond to it wisely. With the right steps, many men restore forward ejaculation, improve their comfort and maintain a healthy, confident, intimate life well into later age. And before we close, let me remind you, this video is for educational purposes only and does not replace medical advice. Every man's body is unique. If you are experiencing pain, sudden changes or concerns about your health, please consult your healthcare provider. Your well-being deserves professional guidance.